हेलो डियर वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथ्स फॉर यू बाय अथौरे मॉन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर टेकिंग ऑफ ग्रेड 11 मैथमेटिक्स यूनिट 5 sigma notation this notation is called sigma notation the letter this one of greek alphabet pronounced as sigma is used to denote the sum of the given series in summation k is equal to 1 up to n k k is equal to 1 is called the initial limit while n is called the final limit the term k involved here is called the formula for the nth term while the greek letter sigma is used for the summation let us take an example in this example we are asked find the sum of summation k is equal to 1 up to 4 while the formula given is k minus 3 as we have given summation k is equal to 1 up to 4 k minus 3 here k runs from 1 up to 4 so the only labor we have to do to replace the value of k in this formula that is first we will put 1 then 2 3 and finally 4 and will add up those values thus we have 1 minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 4 minus 3 which on simplification gives minus 2 plus minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 further simplification gives minus 2 minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 and its final answer is minus 2 as the aim of this video is to find the formulas for the sum of the series so the first one is to evaluate the sum of the series summation i is equal to 1 up to n k here we see that this series do not involve the variable term that is i and only contain some constant k so in this case our main aim is to find the sum of the series which do not involve the variable itself and involve or contain some constant as we know that summation i is equal to 1 up to n k is equivalent to summation i is equal to 1 up to n k time i rest 0 now by the definition of summation we have as we know that any number having exponent 0 is always equal to 1 so using this we have as this k runs up to n time so we have n time k thus summation i is equal to 1 up to n k is equal to n time k that is if a series do not involve the variable term then the answer of such series will equal to the product of k and the final limit n let me discuss a very special conjecture with you which will help us in proving the upcoming formulas suppose we have a sequence b1 comma b2 comma b3 and so on comma bn plus 1 and let aj is equal to bj plus 1 minus bj now applying summation to both side of this relation where j varies from 1 to n we have now in the right hand side we use the definition of summation so applying this we have now rearranging the terms we see that the terms in the parentheses cancel each other 
and finally we left with bn plus 1 minus b1. Thus, if we have aj is equal to bj plus 1 minus bj, then after applying the summation, it will take the shape summation j varies from 1 to n aj is equal to bn plus 1 minus b1. Evaluation of the sum of the first n natural numbers. Here we will try to prove that summation k equal to 1 up to n k is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So we let bj is equal to j square. Then aj is equal to bj plus 1 minus bj which is equal to j plus 1 whole square minus j square. Now using the formula and simplifying we have 2j plus 1. Therefore aj is equal to 2j plus 1. Now using the formula we have just obtained the rest summation j equal to 1 up to n aj is equal to bn plus 1 minus b1. Therefore summation j equal to 1 up to n 2j plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 whole square minus 1 square and this is because of relation 1. Now applying summation in the left hand side and expanding the formula on the right hand side. So we have 2 times summation j equal to 1 up to n j plus summation j equal to 1 up to n 1. While in the right hand side we have n square plus 2n plus 1 minus 1. Now in the left hand side summation j is equal to 1 up to n 1 is equal to n time 1 because by the formula. Now further simplifying we have n square plus 2n minus n and which gives n square plus n. Now dividing each side by 2 so we get summation j equal to 1 up to nj is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Hence we have proved that the sum of the first n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2.